All right, he says, there are 12 boys and 18 girls in Mr. Ruiz's science class. The students must form lab groups. Each group must have the same number of boys and the same number of girls. What is the greatest number of groups Mr. Ruiz can make if every student must be in a group? Here's a hint. Whenever you see same number, same number, greatest number, it's GCF. Same number, greatest number, GCF. Same number, greatest number, GCF. So we're going to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 18. So let's look at my factors. All right, 12, we have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So there's my U. So 12 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, then 12. 18 is going to be 1 times 18. I don't like that color. Let's change it. 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, no 4, no 5, and there's 6. There's my U. So 18 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And so my greatest of the common factors, let's see, 1's in common, 2, 3, not 4, but 6, not 9, not 12, not 18. So who is the greatest of the common factors? It would be 6. So what is the greatest number of groups Mr. Ruiz can make if every student must be a group? He can make 6 groups. Now, to answer the next question, how many boys and how many girls will be in each group, I'm going to draw 6 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, there's my six groups. Now, let's look at the boys. If there are 12 boys, look up here, 12 boys in the group, that's 12 boys total, and we know we have six groups, that means I have to take my 12 boys and divide it amongst the six groups. Well, if I'm going to divide 12 into six groups, what's 12 divided by 6? It's going to be 2. So there'll be two boys in each group. Two boys. And I'm just going to write two boys, B for boys. Two boys, two boys, and two boys. Now, you could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You could have done that. I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You could have done that. You still would have gotten two boys. All right, so two boys are in each group. How many boys will be in each group? Two boys will be in each group. Let's look at the girls. Well, I've got 18 girls being divided amongst uh, six groups. Well, some of us already know it's going to be three girls. If you want to do the ticks, you can do that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I could say 18 divided by 6 gives me 3. 3 girls will be in each group. Now with the boys, I could have said 12 divided by 6, and I got 2. All right, so how many greatest number of groups will be 6 groups with 2 boys in each group and 3 girls in each group?